Birmingham is one of the industrial cities in central England, a place of factories, grey winter skies, and home to a large working class. We all come from the same district, you know, and we learned a long time ago when your back's at the wall, you just keep coming back and, and kick back, you know. Okay, Aston was a uh, was bombed out during the war. Okay, and it, like we grew up in a slum sort of area, you know. And like you, you get a street and you get a bunch of kids that all stay together and stuff, you know. We were ultra working class. <laughs> You'd have never have thought this lineup would have got together if I didn't even know Geezer was a guitar player. He'd never played bass in his life. The way I got involved in music was just purely uh, accidental. I bought a PA system, a 50 watt Vox PA. My father had got one on the drip for me. Uh, it was a 50 watt PA and a, and a, a sure mic. And I thought, well, I put an advert in the music shops, the instrument shops, and, 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 uh, and Geezer came round to the house and he was in a band called The Rare Breed. Well, you were playing with Mitchell Thaddy? Yeah, Ozzy and myself used to have a band, like, and we used to have this guitarist, drummer, and I, I used to play rhythm guitar, and Ozzy was on vocals. What was that band called? The Rare Breed. Rare Breed? Yeah. Me and Ozzy left, and I was just doing rhythm guitars, just sort of. Nobody wanted them anymore, so I took, and I couldn't afford a bass at the time, so I took two strings off my guitar, and I used to play bass on me, uh, just this bloody little horrible electric guitar I had. In fact, that's when we got together as, like, the, the Sabbath line, I, I was still using my guitar strung down. But I didn't really like the guitar player, I thought he was an asshole, you know, so it wasn't really, I mean, in those days when you play blues, you you kind of like got to stand there like cool with dark, with like dark sunshades on and be cool, you know? I would I would jump around and get people going and the guitar player would say, hey man, you're in a blues band, man. You, you know, blues guy. I said, yeah, screw you, you know? So I said to Geezer one night, I said, you know what, man? I said, if I, if I go on a stage with that, that guy again, I'm going to smack him in the teeth. This guy's up, getting up my ass. I can't, I can't stay, take it. And, he said, and Geezer said to me, he says, you know what? He says, I want to pull out as well. So me and Giza left together. I mean, this is a guy who you uh, quit school uh, I, early. I, I, my record, my first advance was one hundred and five pounds. <laughs> I'd never seen two tenors, you know. So um, I, bought, I remember what I bought, I bought myself some. I, I used to walk around barefooted. Why? Because I thought it was more hip than walking out with a shoe with a hole in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> So were you able to buy uh, some shoes after that? Yeah, I bought some shoes, <laughs> I bought some brut. Cut on it to make myself smell a little bit <laughs> I went out and got pissed as a rat, give the rest to my mum. And what did she say to you? Thanks. <laughs> when I first got the album, mm -hmm. they expected to see, there's an old man, oh my, all these old pub swinging songs. So when I, when I put the album on the radiogram, which that's, that was the thing we had, you'd lift the lid up and you... <laughs> And the album cover's got this chick in black robes and it's like this weird... And then he puts the album and they're all gathered around the, the radiogram. It comes on and it starts with bells and rain. <laughs> and um, <laughs> after, after uh, the record played, my, son, my father sits, sits down and he goes, hmm, uh, one question to ask you. And what's that? He says, are you, do you swear to me you're only having the occasional beer? <laughs> Yeah, I think Sabbath probably did invent heavy metal. I think Black Sabbath, you could say, actually were one of the, the first real heavy metal bands. They sort of invented something that didn't come before, the look and the feel and the vibe and, you know, dark, scary, heavy music. I mean, there was nothing like that. It's become such a figure of debate over the last 40 years as to the genesis and birth of the whole movement and environment and how far you can trace it back. But to me, Black Sabbath are the first true heavy metal band. Can we say that Sabbath invented heavy metal? Well, you know, if you say that to Ozzy, he gets very upset because he hates the term heavy metal. Um, I'm not sure the rest of the band particularly enamoured by the words heavy metal, but I suppose it's a band that it's definitely um, that terminology is, is affixed to. No, Black Sabbath certainly did not invent heavy metal, but my God, they capitalised on it. I think probably Black Sabbath invented heavy metal with 
with the song Black Sabbath. If you had to talk about the birthplace of, uh, of heavy metal, this song definitely contributes, is a big contributing factor. If you want to know about heavy metal, just listen to the title track of the first Black Sabbath album, Black Sabbath itself. That encapsulates everything about heavy metal. The ominous sound effects, the doomy, grinding rhythm, the, the powerful, passionate, rollicking, rolling lead guitar. The riff is absolutely terrifying. It's, it, it, and it really is a scary a riff. Uh, it could have been in The Exorcist. It's that scary. The lyrics just scare the life out. What is this that stands before me? And you're like, oh. And the way Ozzy sings it with this, this menace and intent. The album reached the US top 40 in August remaining in the charts over a year and selling in excess of a million copies. Sabbath wasted no time in producing a follow-up album released in September 1970. In advance of its release, the title track was put out as a single and surprised everyone when it became a hit. Mm -hmm. 